There's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. This is Pete, and he's a former war veteran whose expertise lies in explosive pancakery. Whoa, whoa, easy. Pete spent years of his life sowing minefields in China before nukes exploded North America. After 200 years of cryosleep, he's ready to brush back up on those skills today by teaching you how to survive in the wasteland of Fallout 4 on survival difficulty using nothing but his former old reliable landmines. Or landmine equivalents, my description. If you need a refresher on Fallout 4 survival mode, you gotta drink, eat, there's no fast travel, and you can only save by sleeping. You can also die incredibly fast on this difficulty and catch diseases. I hope you're taking notes and paying close attention today. Not for YouTube algorithm reasons. No, no, it's it's just that, you see, Pete's getting old, and while he loves imparting today's youth with fact-based scientific survival skills, he's not as quick as he used to be, so don't make fun of him if he struggles a little bit. Now you want to be as cool as this Pete, right? Well, it starts with creating yourself in Pete's image. Lanky joints, hot wife, weak elbows, hot wife, annoyance at any signs of youthful exuberance. Ah, good morning, sir. All right, all right, come on, Codsworth, I'm slowly withering away. <laughs> Don't even get me started on solicitors. Good morning, vault calling. Ugh, he's selling communism. Maybe I don't want to talk. Oh, see, <laughs> he dislikes him so much he has to turn away. Frustration with modern technologies. Are we, am I supposed to be talking to her? I thought I was supposed to spin that thing. How am I struggling in the intro? Definitely can't forget about the poorly timed crude jokes. I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? He's talking about sex. I don't really have any excuses or jokes for this character build. It's a total disaster. Although 10 Endurance is really good for when Pete's favorite angry newscaster screams about the imminent threats of communism. Flashes, landing flashes. Exploding milk porn. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! Run. Oh God, I <laughs> just ditched my wife and child. Oh, racy there. Last one there is a rotten egg. It's a blowout, not even close. She hasn't even rounded the corner. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. I love you so much, Nora. Thank you for letting me win the big race. Let's skip the vault today, because in Fallout lore, they were government funded, which means communism. This is definitely so I can stay in character and not because I technically had to use not landmines to escape the vault. Before you truly jump into the role of a landmine survivalist, you need to learn how to use others to your advantage. Pete acts alone, and that means you have to as well. So sorry, no actual real followers, but if you don't have landmines, you don't have anything. And I never said you can't have others do your dirty work. All right, we need to follow Codsworth when he, oh, you know what, maybe we don't. Maybe he can just take care of all that on his own and I'll go off to find the cellar. Water, okay, that's all good. I'll take all the food that I can get. Hopefully Codsworth is done clearing out this village. For what are you doing to taking a nap for? Come on, clear this place out so I can make myself a bed or something. <laughs> That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Uh, Codsworth, <laughs> Codsworth help. Oh no, I, I didn't take this into account. Oh my God, they're faster, way faster than I thought. Codsworth, I'm a frail old man. <laughs> take care of it, please. Ooh, get him dog meat. You got this boy. If he goes down, I'm in serious trouble. Yeah, look at him go. Got the jaw of a Titan. I need to get to Trudy's place. This is where it's gonna get really sketchy. Odds of me running into an enemy on the way there are very high. <gasps> Trash can Carla. Carla! So what's your story? Looking to trade? She sells landmines for only 151 for, <laughs> for one landmine. That's not so bad, is it? It's actually terrible, and with a charisma level of one, Pete's gonna need a better way of acquiring money fast. If you wanna free up another vendor close to home, you'll find two humble diner employees being threatened by bandits. With a landmine finally in hand, Pete has the power to control his own destiny. That junk is done to my boy. Whoa, whoa, easy. <coughs> oh, that didn't kill him. Wait, <laughs> they don't seem mad at me. Why are they not upset? And why did that not do any damage? What the hell? That was you. No, 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 no. This is not how it was supposed to go. This is bad. This is why is my camp? What is what is wrong with me? <laughs> what is happening to my game already? All right, Trudy, c cover me. You got this, Trudes. I believe in you. Do you have any landmines back here? Anything that can be useful? Maybe I can throw this out there. Ugh. Oh, that wasn't even close. Wolfgang's down. I better be getting my payment. 
All right, Trudy, discount? Well, look at you, hero of the day. After an afternoon of cowering behind the counter, now you've got another vendor open. Between Carla and Trudy, you can get roughly three landmines per day if you can fork over the cash. One thing I have to be clear about early on, you gotta use your landmines carefully but you also want to use them profitably until you can easily make your own. We'll get there, but remember early on to be extremely conservative with landmines. Save them for human enemies with easy pathing and lots of loot, and avoid fast moving critters like mole rats with little to no- Why are you going in there? What are you trying to prove? Should I go in there? Or is that a bad idea? Maybe there's some good loot down here. Oh, I did not mean to sprint like- That was an accident! Okay, maybe they'll follow us outside. Okay, alright. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's a bad plan. See, if I put the landmine in an intelligent location, then I'll be all right. Okay, all right. I really want to clear this place out. It's a point of pride now. How did you avoid that? There's no way I get out of here. Did I do it? Come on, that's gotta get rid of them all. That was a nuke. <laughs> How did I survive? You son of a I mean it's possible we could we could go into Concord and we could try to landmine a couple of raiders in here. See that's the frame of mind you'll need. With extremely limited combat options early on, you gotta aim for quests. No kills means no XP, means no levels, means no perks, means no loot, means you're stuck wondering why you're even attempting this ridiculous playstyle in the first place. <sighs> but trust me. Keep pushing, and it's a pretty rewarding experience. Unfortunately, questing means you'll have to hang out with Preston's settlement, and clearing out Concord is crucial to getting to that point. Well, look at all three of them in one group. Don't turn on me. Step on the landmine. Oh God, you weren't supposed to, you weren't supposed to effectively circumvent the explosive. All right, fine, I'm just gonna run them into it. Oh my God. <laughs> actually got hit. I got, they hit me in my weak point, my knees. Shit. Shit. Come on. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm just going to get one then. How do they always avoid my landmines? I'm going to plant this landmine. It's going to land directly on this guy's heels and blow his legs off right here. This is happening. They won't even be able to react to this. Ah, but I think I got him that time. Okay, so those two are gonna be post up right there. They're gonna catch me before I get there. Definitely don't hate this route though. But if he comes around the corner, he's gonna go wide around the corner. What, all right, what is in your hand? <laughs> what weapon of mass destruction is that? Preston, please hit this shot. Oh my gosh, I can do it. Okay, I cannot pick. Oh, go, 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 go. Where did they all come from? Come on. F you. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Preston. Hey, up here, on the balcony. <laughs> do you really want my help, Preston? You might be wondering why I do stuff like this. Why punish myself with a quick death and an annoying repetitive trek back to battle just so I can face immediate death again? It's because I love this, and I love finding inventive ways to solve stupid problems, and even more so, I love explaining the thought process to you all that goes into solving these problems. One big problem you'll face early that I've touched on already is the ability to acquire landmines. Since this is survival mode, there's extreme negatives to just skipping time until Trudy or Carla's inventory refresh. Without a backlog of food or water, you'll just be hindering yourself to spend more money on landmines. There's also the issue of carry weight. It's severely limited in survival mode, and combined with my incredible ability to create a terrible class, makes the grind for money really painful early on. Little did I know, though, that there's an alternative in the landmine family that was added to the game as a part of the Far Harbor DLC called Caltrops. Caltrips. Is it Caltrops or Caltrips? Well, not exactly landmines, they're cheap to make, will give you an XP boost, and for the time being, will be your best bet to getting this first quest completed. Oh, it worked. <laughs> oh God, that's a shotgun. Shit, 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 go, 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 go. Ah, I got caught up on the infrastructure and the cabinets. All right, all right, we got this, we got this, here we go. Oh, go. Oh, that was close. We need more cow trips away. <laughs> She's stepping on them more. <laughs> I just thought, oh God. She's down. Is she gonna get up? She still has half health. They might slowly take her out. All right, we're relaxed with the shooting. That does a lot more damage than I suspected. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Just die. What kind of a 
of throw was that? Okay, can I grab the landmine? Uh. Oh, okay, thankfully I was able to grab it. Here goes nothing. Oh God, he's reloading. So my plan here is to go. Are you shitting me? Hallway of death. Back off. <laughs> that was close. He's limping. We got him. He's injured. This guy's having a miserable life. It's rain and cow trip. Oh my God. He's going to switch sides. That raider is definitely going to change. If we can get this raider to switch to taking cover on that pillar, guarantee the other one's going to run into the landmine. He's down. We almost got him. Come on. Boom. Boom. Conquered. Let's go. Holy shit, that scared the hell out of me. Can I stay hidden? Would love to not be attacked by you. No, 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 no. Hey, uh, Caltrips, away. Away, <laughs> defend me, Caltrips. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Remember that talk about problem solving I just gave? Well, the next problem is this giant lizard. Pete's gonna pass on using the power armor this quest gives because he's not a coward, and rather than tell you exactly how to take this beast out without power armor or landmines, I'd rather show you what happens here because I still can't believe that this worked. All 50 caltrips. No, 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 we need more. I need more caltrips. Oh, God. Don't go around them, walk into them. Oh God, that didn't work. Through the alleyway. Go, we got enough speed. Okay, I don't have that much speed. Oh, good, good. would you guys just please? Are the raiders really gonna be my undoing here? Oh God, stop shooting. All right, I think I might be safe down here. Oh man, that was terrifying. <laughs> Holy crap, you're throwing him into the next zip code. Ow, pile Whoa! That's it, I'm dry. I did what I could, Preston. The rest is up to you guys. Dog meat. Dog meat. Okay, I can be safe if I get in here. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No. You and I both know the rules. You're not allowed in here, mister. Uh, oh, God damn. Hello. <laughs> hey, don't use that much larger, conveniently death claw sized door. You used the conveniently sized death claw door and that's where it hit me. Perhaps the greatest idea I've ever had in one of these challenges, like a light bulb went off in my head. Okay, we got to get him in the garage. All right. No, but then he'll back out. He'll back out really slowly. This is the world's greatest game of chicken I've ever played. He's going after the, he's going after the dog. Oh my God, we got him. <laughs> we got him. I cannot believe that worked. Dog me. I love you. I love you so much, dog meat. I'll be back. You two get to know each other. <laughs> Enjoy each other's company. No, 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 no. Dog meat. You were supposed to watch the prisoner. What the hell, man? I thought you were watching him. How'd he get out? Why'd you leave him? You left him alone for two seconds. He slinked out the front doorway. We're gonna have to do this. <laughs> we're gonna have to try again. Get over here. Come on, Deathclaw, round two, bitch. I know you want to, oh, there he is. Beautiful. I missed, I missed. Okay, Dogmeat's gonna fight him. Go. Masterful work, dog meat. <laughs> oh, look, they're getting along. They're hanging out. Although I think he's got him in a position where dog meat can just. Never mind. Nope. Ooh, hey there, buddy. Ooh, Carla. 
Carla, 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 please come help. Hey, <laughs> don't, don't run away. Yes, yes, Carla, good work. Go, go, go. <laughs> run, Carla. There you go. Go, go, Carla. Since when are you this confident? I was ready to make fun of you. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. YouTube. Secondly, you uh, uh, Let me take you to your resting place, Carla. There you go. Just in memoriam of the hero who fought for the gas station. What the fuck happened? What the fuck is that? How did you get out? Now, wait a minute. He's going to be just stuck inside. He can't get through any of the doors. I only have three cow trips. Can I build any traps? I'd have to be able to build a generate. Oh my God, we can do this. I don't care what anyone says. The Tesla arc looks close enough to a landmine. Go, go Tesla trap. Let him have it. It's working. It's working. Oh shit. Okay, okay, I have to repair it. Repair. Yes, I can repair it. Come on, light him up. Get his ass. Finish him. Now, as high class of a gaming achievement as this Deathclaw takedown was, rest in peace, Carla, thank you for your sacrifice, there's been a severe lack of landmines in this landmine only run, and I get that. You know, Boston wasn't built in a day though, so it'll take some time to get there. But between all the bodies in Concord, scrapping what you can at Sanctuary and the Red Rocket as well, and a few level ups on top of that, if you grab the Explosives Expert perk, the fun can really get started. The client, Abernathy Farms. Why? Free food, plenty of stuff, good ally to have if you want to build a landmine-based society in the Commonwealth. The mark? This satellite base, just east of Sanctuary. You'll need to retrieve a family heirloom for the Abernathys out of this base in order to enlist their support. In order to accomplish this task, you'll need to be calculated and cunning. You need to scope this place out and understand where all the dangers lie. I know there's a camp up here I can get a checkpoint in. Attack dog, raider, mole rat. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, we don't like getting shot. Checkpoint. What the hell was that? Oh, it's on! <laughs> Screw you, I'm taking your bed. Satellite dish right ahead. Oh, they're already distracted. All right, we're on team Bloatfly. Now we're on team Molrat. Oh God, it's got landmines! Oh my God, who straps landmines to a Molrat? <laughs> Bloatfly's out front, good distraction for the guards. Molrat spawn nearby, one explosive, one guard at the front entrance. Okay. We can work with that. We can avoid the mole rats by taking the sneaky little side entrance. What the fuck was that? What the? Shotgun! <sighs> ah, but the guard might not be distracted enough to leave that front entrance. We gotta create a diversion if we can. Look Looks like the inside's clear though. All right, we're in. Only problem. I've only got one landmine. Okay, we're dead, but at least we learned a little bit about their routes. You gotta be shitting me. Okay, we're dead, but we also learned that we can be followed in and there's a trap we can trigger as we run through that might hurt those following us. Oh my God, there's so many of them in here. Okay, we're dead, but we learned that we're absolutely screwed if we don't bring at least like 10 more landmines. With at least some knowledge of how to get into the base safely, now you can start stockpiling explosives. The good thing about a landmine only run is that you won't need any ammo you find, so convert all that to cash and every time you swing by Trudy, buy her out. If you have the demolitions expert perk, you can make bottle cap mines requiring two of each, sticky stuff, fertilizer, oil, steel, and one vault tech lunchbox. All of this stuff is really easy to find or buy from Trudy, but lunch boxes? I know it sounds like an overly complex job for one person, but feel free to throw yourself together an all-in-one automated factory construction line. I swear, it's that simple. Toss some steel in and out come the lunch boxes. This is incredible. Again, again. Oh, it never gets old. <laughs> we finally reached the point of landmine production. Congratulations! If you've made it this far, you have officially passed the School of Landmine Survivalry. Now, if you don't mind, Pete's gonna take some time and demonstrate what a high-level landmine survivalist looks like. Hit the trap. Ah, my leg. Oh. Oh, we got him with the trap! Blah, 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 blah. Progress! Okay, now, there's gonna be a raider that chases us up here. 
We gotta create a death path for them to follow while chasing us, but we're only on caution right now. Probably shouldn't lean into that landmine. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> oh my god! You gotta be fucking kidding me. He's right inside the door. This is the worst part. Okay, now we know for a fact that there's gonna be patrols that come in through this room. We also know that one landmine is gonna take them out. Now is the dog just going to stay hidden in the hallway like it was before? Holy <laughs> Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Dog down! <laughs> Was that, was that landmine too close to the wall? Now I'm nervous. Losing track of the landmine? Hey, douche. <laughs> that didn't work. What the? We're crying out loud. I'm right here, idiot. <laughs> Just throw the barrel. Come on. Got him. Which one went off? We just had a big one go off. Got him. F you. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, buddy. Do you Are you looking for Carla? This is all I got for you. I I hate to be the bearer of bad news, bud, but uh That's your owner. Don't give me that look. I, I <laughs> It wasn't my fault. Oh no, they won't even look at me. They're embarrassed with me. <laughs> well, you're stuck here now. Get used to it.